Is this like the movie, Altered States? Oh, what was his name? William Hurt. That's right, yeah. It's exactly like Altered States. Let me take you on a tour. First, we take you into this room with prepared ketamine. What is ketamine? It's a vitamin. It's been scientifically proven to help with floating. Oh, I can't feel my... Oh, great. Looks like you're having a substantial death experience. Your new friends are psychoactive lizards. Here you go. Now make sure to bite the head clean off. Suck down that spinal fluid, get that DNT. Now, one suck may seem sufficient. You're gonna wanna suck three times to get the full effect. Oh, let me get that for ya. We don't want you to turn in the pod, Red! <laughs> These are our pod rooms. You will need a special mask to breathe. Your entire body will be underwater, and this mask is critical for your survival. Uh, I I've never even meditated before. <laughs> I'm afraid. Yes, yes, this is very intimidating. You will be doing six hours of floating here. Is there an emergency button? No, <laughs> <laughs> Okay, let's get the float started. Uh, oh, 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 but will I turn into an ape? Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> but you will have ape-like tendencies. A deep finger for banana. Excess arm hair. Competitive poop throwing. Okay, have a good float! <gasps> Hello? Sorry about that. Uh, Sarah, would you take her back for the tour? Please make your way into the Oasis room. How to alter state's daydream again, huh? I think we need a lizard room. Nope. Be like water, my friend. Okay, Maggie, you're all set. The music will start when you get in. Turn the lights off when you feel ready. Okay, how do I know when the float is over? Oh yeah, the creepy music will turn back on in the last five minutes. Do you have anything not creepy? We have creepy. Ooh. Super creepy. Ah. Creepy atonal. And hippie trends. I'll stick with creepy. Okay. Enjoy. How did the newly scripted tour go? I was a bit nervous and I forgot about the music. Did you remember it was creepy? That's what's important. Mark. Nice stash, man. Good to see you. Ah, thank you. Good to see you. Sarah, my lovely. Good to see you. Long time no see. How have you been? Ah, yes. I've been off doing a little retreat. Ayahuasca called my name, and I had to answer. Ay what's up, car? Ayahuasca. Right, yes. It's the mother of ethnogenic herbs. It's like drinking from a fire hose of cosmic wisdom. And Peru is quite lovely this time of year. What does cosmic wisdom taste <clears throat> like? <clears throat> Tastes a lot like hot tree bark and fermented grass. Sounds yeah. gross. Yeah, it is. Sometimes you act from above and sometimes from below. <clears throat> Excuse <clears throat> me, David. Mm -hmm. yeah. Can I help? I don't like the music. Can you put on anything else? 
Do you want silence? Silence? My breath is fine. Silence. I don't know what you are saying. Do you want no music? No, I'll be bored. If you were bored by you, what does that say about you? What? Nothing. We do have one more option. It's called people in the pod playing music. Anything. This is creeping me out. Okay, there you go. Enjoy. Thanks. Are you still going to do the floating workshop? Oh, I guarantee, Mark, that that will still happen. As certain as I am, those curtains are yellow. We don't have curtains. Oh, oh, oh. Well, if you did have curtains, they'd be yellow. Maybe 250 ayahuasca ceremonies a year is a, is a bit much. Mm. This is super weird. Hey, you drink, what's up? Just playing some tunes. Hello? Hello, can I help? There are people in the pod. This is really weird. Weird? Oh, great. Or great. Okay, back there? Yes. Who doesn't love people in your pod playing music? Yes, another satisfied customer. <laughs> I wonder if I should wear my gold jacket tomorrow. Yeah. Hmm. <laughs> All right. Hmm. Be like water, my friend. I'm so excited for this. Ah, yes. Welcome to the intensive floating workshop. We will be doing four hours of floating, three days straight. Nice jacket. Oh, right. Thank you. Yes, it is. Yeah. I heard Matthew teleported last workshop. Ah, yes. Uh, true story that. Um, I'll need you to sign these waivers. We are not liable for any extrasensory experiences, okay? Time, travel, accidents, or teleportation accidents. What's a teleportation accident? Oh, I remember that workshop quite well. Our little Matthew started out doing great. I feel it. It's working. That was amazing. There's so much energy running through my body. <laughs> I didn't know Matthew had tattoos. A few. <sighs> Tell me my teleportation story. Yeah, it's a good one. Uh, you know what? I have some good tea for you and Mark. I think it's going to help with your sound here. Not 
too much. This tea David gave us is pretty good. If by pretty good you mean terrible, then yes, it is. So how long have you been doing sound healing? Ah, uh, about six months. What is this one called? Um, this is a crystal ball. See, I believe. See. Can you play it by the sea? Lake Pleasant is in the sea! Who is in the sea anyway? What happened to Matthew next? Uh, wow, well, good flow. Absolutely, I'm getting good at this. <laughs> Where am I? What? What's going on? Down to the ladies, I see.
having fun in there. Hmm. Right. Um, hmm. I hope I didn't make that tea too strong. Hmm. The last line says something about warm holes in time and space. Oh, right. That's there for the old guy that used to be a young guy. Didn't all old guys used to be young guys? Be like water, my friend. Countless lifetimes are flashing before my eyes. I see my kids are having kids. In the future, GMOs are found to cause balding. That explains a lot. Uh, I can't believe I left him in there for a few weeks. Oh uh, gosh. All right, let's do this. About 30 years older than when you got in. How long has it been? Uh, you've been in there a few weeks. Um, I think maybe you entered into an alternative time space and the EMF blocking properties of the pod uh, dis allowed the outside world not to be disturbed. Um, thank you, Mr. Faraday. I'm inspired. I have a manifesto to write. You do look super relaxed. Um, would you like some tea? It's caffeine free. Does it have GMO? I am certain it probably. It, I, I don't know. I prefer milk in my tea. This is getting a little intimidating. Do you want to join Matthew and Mark in the sound healing? Mm. I think I'm going to stick it out. I hear lots of sound, not so much healing. Okay, suit yourself. Ah, well, an extraordinarily, extraordinary experience awaits. Excuse me whilst I get ready. You okay? Yeah, just um, feeling a bit anxious. <laughs> um, odd. How's it going in there? 
You both look super strung out. David's story of your last workshop was intense. How'd you find your way back? It's a long walk. What was in that sea? Matthew's feeling a bit anxious. I see. Oh yeah, why? Well, I, I don't see, so I'm gonna go hop in the float pop. That's always a good idea. Olivia and David are getting started also. Sounds good to me. Sarah, Mark? We're finalizing Sarah's Chinese membership pitches. Will you consider trying this again? Why Piao Fu? You love floating, so do I. I'm getting so excited for my trip to China. To China, eh? Uh, yes, Sarah's helping to consulate float spas in China. Oh. Hmm. I remember my train. <sighs> so do I. It's great. It didn't go well. We let you work here for a week, and it was a disaster. Hmm. Oh, I had a great membership pitch. I can't believe you didn't like it. Uh-huh. I don't remember your pitch. Hmm. I think I do. Let's see. Be like water, my friend. Hmm. Ah, hello there. Good float. It was okay. Who are you? Ah, you, you don't know who I am. No, I don't. Mm. Uh, I'm the man. Okay, are you the muffin man? Uh, uh, the muffin man. Do I, do I live on Drury Lane? Look, look, I don't know where you live. I just want a refund. You started your membership pitch with I'm the man. Can we continue with our lives now? But the best part of the pitch is, is coming up. If he's the pitcher, then a grand slam is imminent. Mm. <sighs> Didn't you like the euphoric relaxation? Eh? The immense pain relief? The distraction from all of your senses? Cares, worries, or, or, or was it the massive divine insight? I got water in my eyes and it burned. It didn't feel good at all. Okay, uh, did you not see the bottle filled with pure and clean water to spray your eyes? I, I mm. did, I did try it, it didn't work. <sighs> uh, I think Sarah is finding this very helpful for her upcoming trip. Yeah, I even have a cheat sheet. Yeah, see? Yeah. Yeah. Maths, yeah. plural. There's more than one calculation, so it's maths. See, add good things minus the bad things. Multiply by divine insight equals more membership sales. You can even translate it to Chinese if you'd like. Does it work? Well, huh? the fruit is in the dick. Here's what I can do for you today. I can do one year membership, yeah, for $708. All you need to do is fill out this small membership contract. You know what? You know what? Uh, what? I'm gonna give you the best deal from here to the end of the cosmos. Space aliens are literally flying here as we speak to land in front of my spa to take advantage of this deal. Yeah, I think I'm good. 
Maybe I'll think about it. Think about it. Space aliens are literally flying here after traveling millions of miles through wormholes in time and space ah, in shiny advanced spaceships to take advantage of this deal. So, here for the membership. Oh, Roy, you're all signed up. See you next month. That never happened. You forgot about my birthday last year. So it only makes sense you forgot about this as well. Hmm? Seems reasonable to me. <laughs> this is ridiculous. Eh? You'll hear from me on YOLAP. Oh, you're gonna leave a bad review on YOLAP, eh? I'm just teaching you how to use the spray bottle. <laughs> this is crazy. You're a madman. You are completely in the void for all I've done for you. So, get your jog on. You... <laughs> Shh, jog on, jog on. Yeah, yeah. Lost another customer on the here to the end of the cosmos pitch again, huh? Yeah, it's not converting very well. Am I fired? Yeah. Gotta keep your head up. Never let anything bring you down. I must say, I learned nothing during that flashback. Glad I could help. Um, <coughs> <coughs> well, here's proof. You can put fruit in a pudding. Ah! Fruit is in the deck. Apparently. Mm. So stupid. What flight are you on? I'm actually on my 15th. Yeah, I had 8 to 10 back at the Navy SEAL base a few years ago. I'm actually really looking forward to trying more addiction recovery programs. And yourself? I'm on my 4th. I see addiction as a response to trauma. It's a temporary solution to an internalized pain. I understand that. Yeah, I've actually taken a few too many meds and... Darling, darling, you're beautiful. You gotta keep your head up. Never let anything bring you down. The sunshine will always come around. Stay strong, move on. You have such a beautiful soul. Let your energy radiate. She was actually uh, took learning a language down from six months to six weeks using flow pods. How is that possible? My guess. Um... Learn faster. How did it come out? Awesome. Did you do the recovery program or the super learning program? I'm on hour two of the anti-anxiety depression program. Sounds good. Can't wait to try more programs. Maybe you can bring back a kung fu program with you from China. Totally. I feel like we're moments away from living inside those matrix eggs. Matrix eggs? Those eggs where humans are used as batteries? Keanu Reeves movies. Got it. Except uh, I'm not too keen on having a giant cord jacked into the back of my skull. I don't even like needles, let alone giant brain core thingy and fetus farm juices. Fetus farm juices were basically Matrix AI hollandaise sauce. Yeah, floater always kind of sounded weird to me. Mark has a friend that works at the Phoenix PD and finding a floater in the Tempe Town Lake isn't a good thing. Yeah, I had a big floater last night. I'm spicy. 
pleasant thought. Yeah, well, the truth can be disturbing at times. What else can we call it? Yeah, see, I tend to think of floating as more of a, a practice. How so? Well, it's something that, you know, takes time and commitment to get the most out of it. Like marriage? Yes, but, you know, more pleasure and a higher success rate. See, so you, you, you did that thing again. You didn't actually say it out loud, but I heard you. So how about we just call it, I don't know, student of floating or a floating practitioner? Yeah, so you're trying to fuck my question, but no, that seems a bit wordy. Spicy floater it is, then. You're not going to tell me how you speak telepathically, are you? When the time's right. Do you like working here? It's a good place to remain unnoticed for now. <sighs> Nothing seems to be coming out of the nose tubes. That can't be good. No chocolate. No eucalyptus scent. No carmen. Yeah, no gingerbread, nothing. That's terrible. Didn't the gingerbread man live on Drury Lane? It's, the, uh, it's a muffin man. Ah, oh, right. What should we do? Should we tell Mark? Um, nah, no need. I'll fix her up. Uh, yeah, I'll just change this right here. You said Dave is doing a language program? Yeah, why? When did he start? A few days ago, I guess. You blocked room two for him a few days ago. I did. Has he been out since he started? Yeah, uh, of course. Are you sure? to connect to something? Um, no, this is an open loop, so there's no connection. All right, well, that didn't seem to work. Um, maybe I need to change the fallopian tubes. I'm pretty sure that is not a fallopian tube. <laughs> Look, Olivia, electronics are a specialty of mine. I know fallopian tubes when I see them. <coughs> Seems like the Zill's training has some gaps. What was that? <laughs> Looks like you've got this under control. Thanks. Do you think maybe the uh, fallopian tube connects to the open loop? Oh, that's actually um, it's a pretty good idea. Thank you, Olivia. Oh, yeah, that didn't seem to work either. Wow, shocking. Yeah, we're going to have to break the news to Mark. Now you know how babies are made. Yeah, I already knew that. But did you really? Uh, hey, Sarah. How are the programs going? Good. But Mark might have left David floating for like three days straight. It's like an extreme version of Fear Factor. You know, I love Joe Rogan's podcast. In fact, I had him sign this. expert on Western TV, but I'm pretty sure that's Jerry Seinfeld. Definitely is. Huh, maybe I uh, left my Joe Rogan pick at home. Why do you carry a picture of Seinfeld around? I don't know, I think he comforts me. You know, he's like the nice and funny dad I never had. Hmm. Whatever works. But there's one pot open, so I'm gonna float. I'll get myself set up and avoid the Madagascar cave spider on the way. Uh, what about David? That's all you. There's something about like eating food that doesn't belong in your mouth that never gets old. Like, shh, shh. Oh, um, yeah, uh, Mark, that, that thing's broken. Really? That's yeah. a shame. These things are expensive. Yeah, well, I, I worked on it. The problem seems very extensive and complex. Yeah, we were working on it for a while. Matthew even checked its loops and tubes. Let's see here. No flow. Yep. No flow. It's a mystery. There we 
there we go. Back in business. Now, let me go wiggle David's toes. Hit me with some of that ranch dressing flavor. Sounds good. Success. I can speak English. You already spoke English. Success. I can speak Spanish. No. Success. I can speak Chinese. Ma. But the whole the whole judge. Come on. Klingon. Yeah, I'm a Star Trek fan. Mm. David, check this out. We're booked for 10 months straight since Mark installed this artificial intelligence booking system. Right. That worked quite well then, didn't it? Mm. Hi, I'm here for another float. Hello, Maggie. Welcome back. Let's get you started with the float. Oh, wait a second. Our new AI seems to be canceling your appointment automatically. Really? I'm, I, I've been really looking forward to this. I'm really stressed. There's a little message popping up. It says that your bio-trigger data has been cross-referenced with your global socializing network profile. My what? It's an AI thing. Anyway, it's determined that you won't like the float. Sorry. Uh, I drove 20 minutes to get here. Wait one minute. Let me get my husband who set all of this up. Please take a seat. Hello, David. <clears throat> presence is as enjoyable as your ideologies. Aren't you the clever one? Seems that you uh, made a change. Uh, <coughs> yes, as a matter of fact, I have four breasts arranged. <sighs> These are the first <laughs> two. Right. Will you call yourself DD Squared on Instagram? Probably not. Okay. Um, it's Mass DD Squared here. Thank you, David. I'll be waiting in the Oasis room for my appointment. It doesn't matter how many people have to die, as long as the goal is reached. Olivia and I are discussing politics. He has some interesting ideas. See, it's right here. The AI says you're having a bad day. You'll get out of the float within 20 to 30 minutes and blame the outside world and the float for all of your problems. Huh, that's specific. You will then vent on Yolap and leave a two-star review. Okay, I guess I won't like it. The computer's always right, right? But look on the bright side. You're fully refunded in Bitcoin. And you made a 500% return on your original float price. Oh, I guess I did already make 500% back. Uh, have a good day, I guess. Oh, looks like she's lost it all already. 
Look at that. Someone else already booked. Oh, I love this new AI. Oh, dear God, man, do you have press milk? Mammary glands were installed a few weeks ago. I have almond milk in this one, if you're lactose intolerant. No, no thank you. Mm -hmm. Are you intolerant, David? I don't know, Carl. I'm so very confused. Breast milk is acceptable at any age. I have a self-sustaining system. Sometimes I feed the homeless. The hellish vapors rise and fill the brain till I go mad and my heart is utterly changed. See these breasts, this milk? The prince of darkness sold them to me. For me beats the time and gives the signs. Ever more boldly, I play the dance of death. So, David, you eat yet? <laughs> Farewell. I'm here if you need a sip. What was he thinking? Nothing good. Yeah, uh, he really is a drag. Not because he's a drag queen, he's just plain old drag. I mean, I don't like breasts as much as the next guy, but those are some deep state breasts. Maybe you should write a song about it. Mm. Uh, mammary glands to feed the homes? Be like water, my friend. So you put one leg up. The other leg up. <laughs> yep. And then what you do is. Okay, let's try something else. Be peaceful and happy. Okay, and just circle around your feet. Come up from the back. Don't you feel the energy? It's amazing, yeah. right? Yeah. yeah. Okay, and then something. connect with your energy in the okay. back. So just twist it like, was that the book? That was. So you need any help packing? I'm good, my love. You are good. Cute too. Boop, boop, be too. <laughs> are you still worried? Well, yeah. It's still illegal in China. We know people who have a religious asylum. I'll be careful. Whoa, 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 we discussed this. I can hide it. Dude, seriously? You can just look it up on the app on your phone. I understand. I know we live in Arizona, but I'm still not a dude. I was born with all of this. Okay, do that then. Mickey Wu is a family friend. Wu who? The, the term originated when he died in prison in, in the 1920s, I believe. I don't really know what you're talking about. He was instrumental in India's independence. Do you think you have Gandhi not Nelson Mandela? Right there! That's the Mandela effect. It's possible you might be a bit confused in your history. Like, I clearly remember Ed McMahon winning that big check for some sweepstake. Yes, right there. Mandela effect. Timelines crisscross. Alterations in physical dimension. Yes, correct. You remember that Philadelphia experiment? <laughs> I love, I love Danny DeVito. <laughs> the, uh, the, uh, the time travel and teleportation experiment that went terribly wrong? It's sunny in Philadelphia, had some rough patches, but it never went terribly wrong. Uh, seals ended up merged with the ship? Hmm. I don't remember that episode. You two are not on the same page. Bye bye la. That sounds exciting. Mm hmm He wants to open a float spa in Beijing and then expanding to Shanghai. Nice. Yeah, he wants me to stay for a few extra days. 
he still offered it 10% of the enterprise? Uh huh. He plans on opening five to eight locations in the next two years and then expand across China. <laughs> Exciting times. Go for it. Samantha will be fine. I miss her like crazy. Can't believe she's in first grade next year. I know. Crazy. Were plane engines always that far up on the wing? That is crazy looking. I guess. What airline are you flying again? Chick fil A? You mean Chick fil A, like the chicken place? No, Chick fil A is an airline. But they do have great chicken sandwiches on board, though. Mm. That doesn't seem right. No, Southeast Air Chicken has the best sandwiches. What? <laughs> that doesn't even make sense. Uh, no. Mandela effect. No. It does seem suspicious that Monopoly guy didn't have a monocle and apparently never did. It's not possible. He had a monocle on Alpha Centuri. Your telepathy is getting pretty sloppy around us. Yeah, well that's reason to celebrate. I'm gonna have a little smoke here. Huh? I'm good. Hmm? It smells good. It's chocolate mint. Uh, yeah, I know he had a monocle. You ready to go? Yeah, I'm ready to go, Mark. Or should I say, cowboy. Is China ready for Sarah the cowgirl? I think so. <laughs> I think Kangis Khan was like the most epic cowboy ever. Didn't he have like a hundred wives? I don't know, but I think he has like several million descendants. Not a fan of eugenics then? Apparently not. Chocolate mint. Chocolate mint. I know he had a monocle. I know he had a monocle. Well, Matthew, I believe David Davidson is officially done for the day. Yeah, what do you think, Olivia? A bit more on that than chocolate and mint. Indeed. There was a terrible disaster. David knows about it. Bye. Be careful. See you soon. Lift the mission. Get more people floating. You shaved your mustache. I've never had a mustache. Funny. See you soon, David. And done an effect. See you when you get in tomorrow. Love you. Please, let me be brave. Please, let me see. Let me see my joy sister. Yeah. Be like water, my friend. Let me see my joy.
voices clearly. Please. <laughs> My PJs are cuter than yours. <laughs> it's good to hear your voice. How was your flight? <laughs> the flight was long. Long, but good. Any rancid tutors on the plane? A few of us smells. Nothing rancid. What time is it there? 6 p.m. Friday. I'm exhausted. <laughs> it's uh, 1 a.m. here. It was Thursday an hour ago. Oh, come on. My meeting is on Monday morning, so I have time to recover. <gasps> you should get some sleep. Yes, indeed. <laughs> I don't like being this far away from you. Are you okay? Glad you're okay. <laughs> I'm gonna meet some friends tomorrow. <laughs> it feels good to be back in China. Awesome, that sounds good. Maybe I'll come out there next to you, with you next time and uh, Samantha can stay with Nana and Papa and, or, or maybe we could all come out together. I miss you both. Try to get some sleep. Me too. I love you, Sarah. I love you. Good night. You okay? You've been in here for a bit. Um, to be honest, Hard float. You know, lots of memories kept coming up. I just felt like I was reliving some. Darling, darling, you're beautiful. Gotta keep your head up. Never let anything bring I, you uh, down. took a few too many anxiety meds after the float, and honestly, I just didn't really need them. The sunshine will always come around. Stay strong, move on. You have such a beautiful soul. Let your energy radiate. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Sorry, I had beans for lunch. <laughs> you know, I, I've been doing good. Um, I have this insane narcotics addiction and I drastically reduced them out, but today I just decided to take a few too many. It's a gradual process. Yeah, much like washboard abs, you know, it takes time, I get it. Mm. Ah, there you go. Mm. Mm. Sarah, get into China okay then? It's a 17 hour trip, but no issues other than that. I thought eight hours to the UK was unsettling. Right, 17 hours, that's 17 minus the eight, four squared minus 16. Uh, nine hours difference. All oh, right, yeah. It's prickly prayer, ice cream's pretty good. Uh, so when will you call her again? At 10, then, well men, okay. name Chen by, by Hen with Yen. Okay. Good rhyming. It's pronounced Yuan, by the way. Maybe a little less time in Peru next visit. We want to stay sane and normal. Mm, normal. I don't know. I'll try giving her a call in a couple of hours. The time difference is crazy. Her being there makes me very nervous. Oh, does, is the persecution of Falun Gong still going on then? Yeah. It's still going strong. It's not publicized as much. She bought you that for your anniversary, right? Yeah. Uh. Oh. Bollocks! China. No, I'm meeting Mickey in a bit. It's... What's the matter? Not used to the spice? You know I love spicy. What? Shinma? Probably nothing. 
Sarah? I brought my Falun Gong book. I took that out of your bag. Well, I put it back in. Are you okay? Tell me what's going on. I had it in my bag. Uh-huh. Well, it's still in my bag, but it's like, it's been moved. Like someone picked it up. So maybe nothing, right? Right. Maybe I'm just overthinking it. Please, I wanna see my wanna see choice my fall out of front of me. China. Lambs to the slaughter, gone without trace. Doctor, how could you fall so far from grace? Breath in their lungs, their bodies still warm Their organs are stolen and sold to the world And the animals upstairs take a slice of Falun Gong Be like water, my friend Good flow? Getting better and better. You okay? Something seems up. I just called Sarah, but she didn't pick up. I'm sure she's fine. Thank you for doing this, Olivia. Of course. I, I can feel something's wrong. She would have called back. Have you done this before? Yes. I know I can make a connection in Sedona. We just need an open gateway. Well, will it work? It will work, Mark. Thank you. The vortexes are a real thing, then? Yes. Basically, just doors into other dimensions. Sarah and I got this vortex bidet for our anniversary a couple of years ago and it cleans it a spinning vortex pattern. How about we try? <laughs> oh god. That's probably for the best. Is bidet French for little froggy <laughs> spitting on your dirty parts? No. But my toilet paper does have its own electric bill. <laughs> Do the lights flicker when you use it? Yeah. <laughs> and Sarah and her mom, when her mom's there, she'll shout out like, Where are all the rats flickering non-stop for in your house for ten minutes? Oh my god, I'm so sorry! And Sarah says, Oh mom, Ma just had a bad breakfast burrito! <laughs> we will find her. Shut the car! Just... <laughs> I can't believe you're going to shave off your beautiful mustache. Yeah, it's, it's time. You okay? Uh, yeah, Mark and Olivia are trying to connect with Sarah. I don't know what that means. I 
Don't really know either, but she's definitely not from around here. She showed me some things. Yeah, did she uh, show you the fire? Yeah. I don't think she's human. <laughs> no shit, Sherlock. See, that's not gonna sound as cool about your mustache and beard. Man. Find a comfortable meditation position. Got it. Take a breath. Think of something special that connects you and Sarah deeply. She was the first person to understand some of my visions and extrasensory experiences. That's good. And how did that make you feel? I felt wanted. I felt worthy of myself and of my life. It's like I knew her from before. Like I'd always known her, I already loved her. I don't know if that makes any sense. Keep that feeling in your heart. That deep knowing. Close your eyes. I feel her coming. with a vortex in Sedona. Like a vortex bidet? That's cool. <laughs> yeah. I miss you. Are you okay? Is this your higher self? This is me, my true image. My human body is unconscious. My mean consciousness is talking to you. What? Nothing. It's just your true self is kind of hot. Smaller particles, smoother skin. Yeah, definitely hot. We're fading away. Sarah, no. Where are you? How do we find you? No. You shall find a way around. Mark, the connection is fading. What? Sarah, where are you? How do we find you? No. No. Sarah. I need more help. I need my family. It's time to reveal the truth of the universe time, space, and the potential of the human body. 